And welcome back to another episode of Daily Fortnite, your daily podcast about Fortnite. I'm your host, Mikey, a.k.a. Mike Daddy, a.k.a. Magnificent Mikey. Okay, so today we had the Spring Breakout Cup. Uh, You know, it was a duos event. Hopefully, everybody out there got a chance to compete in that. That way you can have a a chance to get that uh, new uh, Webster uh, outfit early. Uh, And it will, you know, go good with the pickaxe that we can unlock during Spring Breakout. (sighs) I didn't get a chance to play in it, uh, but like I said, hopefully you guys got a chance, and I hope that you uh, did well. You know, other than that, uh, I don't really have a lot of news uh, going on today. It didn't seem like there was uh, any big news uh, going on in the in Fortnite in-game itself. So, I guess we can just go ahead and uh, move on to, uh, well, first, you know what, let's go ahead and take a look at what the LTMs are. They, they have quite a bit of uh, new LTMs in the game right now, or not new, but they uh, added some more in. Classic Loot Duos is here, uh, Fog of War Squads, uh, go, go to Slow Mode Enabled, uh, community creation, advanced red versus blue, and survival simulator, and Team Rumble is here, of course, as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the next thing up on this will be a challenge list. And speaking of, you know, the spring breakout, uh, like I said, we can get Webster, and you know, you want to forage bouncy eggs hidden around the island uh, because I. Uh, not only is it going to get you experience points, but the first time you complete this, because it goes like 10, 20, uh, 30, 40, 50, uh, you can keep collecting it, collecting them to get more. But the first 10 you get, you're going to get the 35,000 XP, but you're also going to get uh, the pickaxe. So uh, you're going to want to know where to get the, uh, the uh, bouncy eggs. So where where you want to go uh, is the Primal Pond. So if you go to Primal Pond, west of Primal Pond, up uh, uh, on the hill, that is where the NPC Cluck is. And around this area, uh, you will find some of the Bounty Eggs. Also, west of Weeping Woods, uh, just a little bit west of the Spire, you'll find some eggs uh, a little bit west of the spire that's at weeping woods uh there are some south of colossal crops uh kind of in the 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 grassy area next to a small hill i guess is how i could uh, explain that one and then there's another one another area that you can go to find some eggs uh just south of steamy stacks uh, around, uh, you know, there's a fork in the river, so just go east of that a little bit, uh, up on the hill, around that area is where you're going to find some more eggs. Uh, those are the spots I know for sure have them. Uh, I like going to, uh, I haven't done any of this challenge yet myself, but I like going to Primal Pond anyway, because there's so many bones there, and you can talk to Cluck. So I I like going there anyways. Uh, And uh, most people I see uh, looking to get this challenge done online, like different YouTube videos I've watched and stuff, showing people showing where uh, eggs are. I've I've seen a lot of people skip this spot uh, and not realize that there's eggs there even. So, uh, you know, that might be a good spot to go. Maybe that you'll run into less people because you do need to be the first person to pick them up from what I understand. Like you can't, if, if somebody else picks picks them up first and then you eliminate them, you can't just go pick it up and then uh, have it count. Uh, from what I understand, I can't verify it because I don't, I haven't done the challenge yet myself, but uh, from what I've heard, uh, that is uh, that is the case that I, if somebody, instead of consuming them, if they just gather them and then you eliminate them, uh, it won't count towards you uh, foraging them if you uh, are just picking it up after a player who's already picked it up. Uh, let's see here. 
that's the challenge. So let's go ahead and head on over to the item shop and see what's in the item shop today. Um, we got some good ones, and uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, you've already saw a little uh, preview of one of the items that we have added in. Uh, Snake Eyes is still here. The Stonks guy is still here. Diamond Hans. Uh, the uh, Spring Breakout items are still here, of course. And then we have uh, the Moniker outfit uh, back in the item shop for 1200 I've always liked this guy. The Business Hips emote for 500 the optimistic wrap for 500 the brawler outfit for 1200 this is one i've always really loved as well uh the leaping emote for 500 the breaking point emote for 200 uh let's see here oh the galaxy pack is here for uh and you get the galaxy scout outfit nucleus back bling stardust strikers harvesting tool and celestria glider for 2800 1200 v bucks off if you were to get them separately galaxy scout with the nucleus back bling is 2000 the stardust strikers harvesting tool is 1200 the celestria glider is 800 and the star scout wrap is 500 uh, let's see here. And then the one that I talked about the teaser before or what I showed at the beginning of the YouTube video is the Leave the Door Open Emote Music by Bruno Mars and Anderson Pac. Pac as Silk, as Silk Sonic <laughs> Dance Moves by Bruno Mars. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you you guys out there are big Bruno's Mars fans like me, but uh, yeah, you know Bruno Mars and Anderson .Paak uh, just recently uh, formed their little collab together, uh, Silk Sonic, and uh, released uh, uh, an album. Definitely go check that out, and uh, you know if you if you like it, which I would be surprised if you didn't. Uh, you, you, I'm sure you'll uh, be a fan of this emo and the dance moves. Uh, this is 500 V bucks, so check that out. Uh, you have the night hair outfit with the floppy back bling for 1,200. Uh, I've always really liked this guy because he is so creepy. I used to wear this one a lot as well. Like I used to wear this all the time just because I liked how creepy he is. Uh, this is 1,500. The steel carrot harvesting tool is 800. This is what I'm currently rocking uh, with the. Uh, What's the name of the character I'm wearing right now? Can't even remember. Uh, Dutch, the new the new bunny suit character. Uh, we have the pastel outfit for eight hundred V bucks. Uh, we have the metal mask bundle, which has Zadie outfit, metal mouth outfit, the spiked maze harvesting tool, and then Zadie challenges and metal mouth challenges for some additional styles. That's two thousand four hundred for the bundle, eight hundred V bucks off the total if you were to get them separately, and if you did. The Zadie with the challenges is 1,200, and Middle Mouth with the uh, challenges is 1,200. Spiked Malice Harvesting Tool is 800, and that looks like everything today. So you can get any and all of these items using code Mike Daddy M M M I K E D A D D Y in the item shop, and some of the proceeds will go to help support the show. Okay, let's see here. Uh thinking about it uh, yeah I, I don't have a tip of the day uh prepared for you so uh i'm i'm, I'm going to <laughs> skip it today uh we'll we'll come back strong tomorrow and uh, i should be off a little bit <laughs> earlier tomorrow because i'm starting work earlier than normal tomorrow so hopefully that means i'll be home earlier and have a little bit more time to uh look up some tips for you guys but until then, make sure you go join the Daily Fortnite Discord and hang out with us. Follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. It's Mike Daddy on all of those. Head over to Apple Podcasts, leave a five-star rating and a written review for a shout-out on the show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, have fun, be safe, and don't get lost in the storm. <laughs>